a classified story called Top Secret. A while ago, I thought studying film would be so fun and exciting. And a better choice, considering I can't hold my breath underneath water as long as a United States Navy SEAL soldier. And I love Seattle, I thought, in early 2000, when I remembered sleepless in Seattle. And noticed there was a United States Navy base nearby a college where I decided to study with an Iranian professor from the University of Chicago who taught at Berkeley in California who called himself Kave Iskari, a professor with a PhD. I study disability, autism, and eventually was hospitalized for a disorder they decided was caused by a mood. And I read books about critical theory and I put my feet up on chairs and I talked about feminism with my gender neutral friends and roommate who was solving his identity while learning to be a nurse to help those patients who need assistance after neurosurgery. I learned to hold a camera steady, to focus and concentrate and have a described psychological flow state, drinking coffee and visiting with comrades who were communists and soldiers who were anarchists. Attended club meetings about German philosophical thought and was a founding member with my friend James of reframe, reimagining film's reception and mainstream exempt. I had a girlfriend. I graduated. And then there was a recession. And shortly thereafter, homelessness. I volunteered, did what I could for work, selling stereos at Pacific Place in downtown Seattle when the businesses weren't boarded up from broken windows and glass on the sidewalks.
I paid my respects to John T. Williams, who Officer Burke shot. And then Officer Burke, another Seattle Police Department officer, gave me a challenge coin of excellence. I studied Jung and Freud. I read the Bible in a week with eyes strong and powerful, with a body losing energy, concentration and focus slowly, unknowingly, with a mass inside of my skull, deep down in my brain, next to my brain stem and my pituitary gland, growing bigger and bigger and bigger.